Hey, what's up? Go back to my channel. I'm Mikhail. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on the bell. You still want to drop in a little video. You will be notified. So turn the bell. Ding. Turn the bell. If everyone is having a day, I'm just, I'm just doing something to make you happy. I'm also having a day. I'm doing something to make me happy. I appreciate all the love and support. Thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic, subject title is going to be on. It's going to be about. It's going to be titled. And just today, it's raining. <laughs> it's cloudy. Where I'm at, it's so rainy and cloudy. It's been raining since Monday. So far, it's been raining every single day. It's been raining and cloudy every single day. It's been raining very heavy. And I've just been feeling a little down. Because, you know, it's one thing after another. Always something coming out. But, you know, I'm kind of feeling down. So... When I feel down, I try to do things that bring me happiness and give me some peace okay, and some comfort. I always try to learn to be comfortable in uncomfortable times and in uncomfortable moments. So like, you know, one thing after another, always something it's taking your money, always something that's trying to make you have less money. But that's why it's best to detach yourself away from everything in this world. It's best to detach yourself away from money, away from materialism. It's not good to be materialistic, money hungry, and to be greed. It's not good to be that way. It's not good. So because because once you detach yourself away from money, you're not going to get too upset about losing money. Once you once you detach yourself away from money. You're not going to be real down and feeling real sad and hurt when you lose money or when your money is going down because you're detached away from money. So you're not stressing over it. You're not stressing about it. And once you detach yourself away from materialism by fancy clothes big time designer clothes designer jewelry name brand shoes big luxury cars Lexus Rose Rolls Royce Bentley all that stuff once you are detached away from material things you're not materialistic. You don't care about if you lose a good valuable item. You don't care about losing a good valuable and tangible items. Valuable and tangible possessions. Because like say you lose a luxury vehicle or you can't get a luxury and fancy vehicle a luxury and fancy item a luxury and fancy material of something when you lose big time materialistic stuff when you lose luxury big time and fancy materialistic stuff or when you can't get these big time luxury and, fa and fancy 
materialistic stuff. Do you lose it or can't get it? You're not worried about it because you detached away from it. So when you lose or can't get money or big time materialistic things, when you lose or can't get big money or big material listed things, you don't care. You don't care. It means nothing to you because you've detached yourself away from it. You detached yourself away from all of it. Money materialism, it doesn't mean nothing because when you die, it can't go with you. When you die, you can't take the large amount of money with you. You can't take no big fancy, luxury, luxurious, fancy, and fabulous material item with you. When we die, we can't take none of this stuff with us. It's all going to be left here. It's all going to be left here on this earth. Yeah, so sure you can enjoy it while you're living. You can enjoy it while you're living down here. But as soon as you go, as soon as your time has expired and you're out of here, it stays here. It's not going with you. Once your time has expired, when is your expiration date? When you're out of here, <laughs> it's just you. You're gone. You, your soul, your spirit, your essence is gone. You are just gone. And the money and materialism, all the items, materials, all the tangible goods and possessions is still going to be down here. It's still going to be down here for someone else to enjoy. It still will be all this stuff, all this stuff will still be down here for someone else to enjoy and for someone else to have. In yeah, black, I say, when you're feeling down and feeling unmotivated, when you're lacking encouragement and lacking inspiration, do something to make you happy. Do something to bring you happiness, wellness, and fulfillment. Like me, I like to listen to music. I love music. I'm a music junkie. Music make me feel better. Music is my es music is my escapism. I escape the music. I get lost in music. So when I'm feeling down, I listen to music. Every time I'm sad, I'm not feeling like myself. I'm lacking motivation. I'm not enthusiastic. I'm not optimistic, or rather, I'm pessimistic. But I'm, I'm thinking negative. My vibration and frequency is low. My energy is low. I feel drained, tired, sluggish. Like, I don't want to do nothing. I'm just unmotivated. I want to be unbothered. I just don't want to do nothing. I want to sit around and not do nothing. When I get at those moments, I listen to music. I listen to my music. And music, music make me feel better. Because I'm a music junkie, music makes me feel better. Music uplifts my spirits. It uplifts me. Music 
music uplifts me and it uplifts my spirit music just make me feel better yeah so do so listen to music do a hobby sport do a activity like listen to watch YouTube videos watch some video watch videos on social media or listen to a podcast watch a podcast but do something to make you happy do a hobby or something that's going to make you feel motivated and inspired and get you to feeling back to your motivated self get you feeling back to your regular and functional self do things to get you back functioning back to your functioning self back to your functioning and productive self it's your girl Mikkel like, comment, share, subscribe enjoy the rest of your day I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day like, comment, share, subscribe this is your girl Mikkel the World Goddess bye one love for love I'm out and for love